In this lesson, we'll use the brush tool to outline the remaining facial elements in addition to using the cutter tool to clean up overlapping lines. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're still focusing on the head of our cartoon duck, um, this time focusing on the beak as well as those eyebrows. So with that said, if you have a look down here at the layers section of our timeline view, you'll see that I've created a new empty drawing layer, which I've titled Beak. So we're going to focus on the beak first using our brush tool right here in our toolbar. So let's go ahead and take a moment now to kind of talk about how the brush tool differs uh, from the pencil tool that we used in the previous lesson. So we we'll just go ahead and draw a line there and then grab our selection tool. Let's select it there. You can see how it differs. Um, the pencil um, lines that we put down in the previous lesson had those central vector lines that basically only allowed us to really adjust the path that those lines flowed. Whereas with our brush line that we've put down, there is no central vector line, rather contour vector lines. These lines basically surrounding the entire perimeter of our brush line that we just put down. So what we can do is grab our contour editor tool right here, and we can pull on any of those lines to adjust the thickness or thinness of that entire brush stroke. And then we can also click on any of these points, which gives us the ability handles um, to really fine-tune the thickness or thinness and again you can hold down alt on one of these if you just want to control one uh, section in between those points so really handy and this is a great tool to use if you want to really have some nice um, thick lines in specific areas of your character that you plan to animate so let's go ahead and delete that brush stroke, grab our brush tool once again, and you'll notice over here in our tool properties view that we also have the minimum and maximum brush um, width settings, much like we did with our pencil tool. And so I have my maximum basically set to uh, 6.4, which is pretty much the same as I had for my pencil lines. I do want to maintain that kind of line work consistency as far as width. But I do want to have the ability in some areas to kind of add a little bit of thickness. Um, adding line weights can really kind of allow you to create the illusion of form wrapping around just specific areas. So we're going to go ahead and start with the beak here. So I'm using a Wacom stylus on a Cintiq. So based off of the amount of pressure I apply, I can kind of taper... Um, and it also would kind of adjust the overall thickness or thinness of the line itself within the the boundaries of these settings right here okay so again I can grab my contour editor tool and I may want to kind of adjust the thickness kind of right here um, of the that end of the beak so just kind of tweaking that overall you may want to grab just kind of right up in there and kind of adjust kind of that area right there. So just kind of zooming out, you can kind of see how we have a lot more control um, as opposed to our pencil lines. All right. So pretty neat stuff. Let's go ahead and kind of continue on around our cartoon duck's beak here. So we'll basically focus on just the overall outline of the beak itself okay and again we got an overlapping line there that's fine we're gonna here in a moment be cleaning up all of these overlapping lines that we've created with both of these tools and so also kind of working on his little mouth right here within his beak again I could grab my contour editor tool um, kind of click right here and I may want to kind of adjust kind of the thickness of the corner of his mouth a little bit and maybe this area right in here as well, just kind of tweaking that slightly. Very cool. Okay, so now let's go ahead and talk about kind of cleaning up these overlapping lines. So to do this, we can click on our selection tool right here and hold down, and we can grab our cutter tool. Okay, great. So we want to make sure that we're actually using the lasso um, option for our cutter tool. Just, it's going to give us a lot more control and 
precision. And the next button I want to make sure I have clicked on is this button right here. This is called the Use Mouse Gesture Cutter Mode. Again, it's going to allow us to be just a lot more precise, okay? So we can basically just swipe right over that overlapping line right there, and it's gone. Now let's go ahead and hit Control-Z and take a step back, and let's talk about if we had that clicked off. Um, you can see how it basically doesn't do that. It's basically allowing us to draw a very specific selection over an area that we want to basically cut or remove, okay? So we're going to go ahead and keep that turned on. It's super handy and just getting rid of that lining. See how it looks nice and clean. Now let's go ahead and exercise this cutter tool over our pencil lines. So let's go ahead and start with, say, the cheek the cheeks layer, basically all this kind of hair cheek area that we drew here that sits underneath the beak. Okay, so we're zooming in here. Let's try out the same thing. So if I swipe here, that looks fine. If I swipe right here, not so fine <laughs> because we kind of have this weird little divot right here, okay? And that's just because I have found that the the cutter tool just works a lot more effectively with brush lines rather than pencil lines. Now ultimately, whether it's brush or pencil lines, the vector lines need to overlap, okay? So I'm just going to hold down uh, shift here and select these lines. So you can see how these two are overlapping. They need to overlap before you can basically cut any of those pieces off, okay? But again, I find that the cutter tool works best with um, brush lines. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just hit Control-Z, take a couple of steps back here. And what we can do is basically, with our selection tool, select all of these lines and we can convert them to brush lines. So if you scroll down over here in your tool properties with your, obviously, your selection tool um, in use, you'll see that there's a button right here. And this button basically allows us to convert pencil lines to brush lines. Now, one thing I do want to stress is make sure you're happy with just the overall design and placement of your pencil lines. Because if you try to go back, convert backwards, it's not going to look as elegant. It'll, it'll look a little bit distorted or wobbly. So come in here and adjust these central vector lines and kind of tweak the overall kind of placement of those lines, those pencil lines that you've put down. So I'm pretty happy with the overall look. So let's go ahead and convert those to brush lines. You can see now how they, the central vector line is no longer there. We have contour vector lines. So let's go ahead and grab our cutter tool once again. We'll zoom in here. And you can see now how that looks a lot more crisp. We don't have that weird looking, kind of jacked up looking divot right there. So I basically just want to work my way around the kind of cheek area here and just kind of clean it up. And you can see just how effective and precise this tool is. And so kind of cutting that piece. Now that piece right there is going to be a little bit stubborn, so you may take a couple swipes. So we working our way around. You can see how this can really save um, an incredible amount of time instead of having to go around and erase and try to get that nice clean point. Okay, let's go ahead and exercise this on the head layer. All right, so again the head layer it's still in um, pencil lines. So just to further demonstrate, if we did that, clipped off those two overlapping lines, you can see how we get that that weird little unattractive divot. We don't want that. So let's go ahead and take a couple steps back. I'm going to grab my selection tool. And let's just select everything there. Come over here to our tool properties view. And once again, convert those to brush lines. All right. And again, we'll hold down on our selection tool, grab the cutter tool. Let's zoom in here. And you can see how that's just way better. So we'll go ahead and get rid of some of these lines right in here. And you'll notice how that wasn't perfectly precise for some reason. So we can again kind of um, adjust. We can go ahead and click on that, this little button right here, remove the mouse gesture cutting mode. 
and we could be a little bit more precise perhaps in kind of cutting away that piece right there. We'll go ahead and click on that again. And that's looking pretty good, pretty clean overall. I may want to go ahead and see if I can remove that. Now you'll see how uh, when we tried to get rid of that line right there, it removed all of the headlines. Now why is that? We're just taking a step back there. Um, the reason for that is if we grab our selection tool, just as I mentioned um, a moment ago, your vector lines need to completely overlap. And in this case, um, they are not overlapping, all right? So what we can do, just like we did a moment ago, is we can go ahead and turn that button off, and I can just come through here and kind of select that little area right there with our cutter tool and just hit delete on my keyboard and remove that. So that's a really that's a really powerful tool. Again, think of you if you had multiple drawings that you need to do this to, um, you could save yourself a lot of time. All right, let's go ahead now and um, talk about making a new layer here, and let's actually add those eyebrows. So I'm going to make two layers here, and we're going to we can rename those um, in between lessons. And I'm going to click on this first one here, and I'm actually going to go ahead and use my brush tool, and I'd like to go ahead and draw these eyebrows in before I forget here. So much like we've done before, I'm not worried about these overlapping lines. Just working in those lines right there and then we'll grab our cutter tool and of course I want to switch back to the mouse gesture mode and just clean those up. And so it works really nice. I really like this tool a lot. And so that one right there, we don't have a complete overlap so again we could kind of very precisely kind of clip that off if we want to, if we don't want to adjust the overall vector line itself with our contour editor tool. And on this other layer, I'll basically work in this other uh, eyebrow over here, his right eyebrow. Okay, and I'll use my cutter tool just to clean it up again, making sure we have the mouse gesture button clicked on and just kind of cleaning it up. So really amazing tool. Let's go back now to the beak and we'll finish out by talking um, about how we can kind of convert everything into kind of one shape. All right. So um, we're going to grab our selection tool and you'll notice when I started to draw the beak earlier in this lesson, I started off right here. So I drew that first kind of brush stroke right there. So that's basically registering itself as an individual vector shape. And then I kind of continued on with the rest of the beak itself. So let's say we wanted to very easily just grab, select this entire beak and move it over, move it somewhere else perhaps. Well, we don't want to grab it and only move part of it. We want the whole thing to be together. To, to be together. And so if we're happy with removing all of those overlapping lines, we can select the entire beak, come over here to our tool properties, and click on this uh, button right here, which will flatten everything, okay? Now, if it doesn't get every aspect of it, we can come up here to Drawing, and then we can come over to Optimize, and under Optimize, we can try clicking on Remove Extra Strokes, and we'll see what that does. So now, when we click on the beak, um, it includes that in entire area. Now, the inner part of his mouth is on its own line. So what we can do is select everything and hit Control-G on our keyboard. And now when we select the beak, everything is together. So a very quick and easy way to um, unify your line work um, if you want to um, kind of drag it or reposition it very easily. All right, so in the next lesson, we're going to talk about using some of our shape tools over here in the toolbar, and we're going to focus on working on kind of the body right here and how we can use these shape tools to very quickly and effectively um, outline his body area. Again, thinking of the body as a separate um, shape. So stick around, and we'll see you in that lesson.